are an AliExpress seller and they sent over some really pretty blonde or actually ombre hair. If you know me, then you know I've been really into experimenting with color, especially like blondes and browns and even some blues. And ironically, this is the first time that I've ever requested colored hair from my hair company. I just usually go with the natural color and just focus on the texture and length. But this time around, I decided to um, request ombre just to see what it would look like and if I would like it or not. But I just thought, like, wouldn't it be easier just to get it um, already dyed and if anything I can manipulate it already you know dyed. So most people are already familiar with ombre but if you're not ombre typically means that there are three or more color variations in the hair and one leads into the other to the other basically making it sort of a gradient effect. So with this hair it is three colors and it's a 1B for 27 and basically that just means the roots are a 1B. Um, the nice chocolate or brunette color like in between the 1B and the blonde is a 4 and then of course the 8 is a 27 if that makes sense and I requested four bundles and a closure I requested an 18 inch lace frontal um, the frontal is a 13 by 4 and I did bleach the knots and I pretty much used three bundles and then I have one left which I'll show you in just a minute um, the natural texture of the hair is body wave and I do have it linked below. Um, when I was making my wig, I realized how much blonde it was and it kind of made me nervous. I think that if I would have gotten shorter lengths, you would see less blonde. But because I got it so long, that's why you see so much blonde. So of course, like I said, it was making me a little bit nervous because I'm not going to look good with just straight blonde hair, you know, this bright. But I think that the dark roots and how it ombres into the chocolate brown before the blonde definitely helps it to complement me much better than if it were just like a little bit of dark roots up top. This hair was originally body wave texture, but I did go ahead and crimp it for like a beach wave look. If you want to do this look, but if you want it to be a little bit more uniform, I would add a little bit of oil um, sheen to it or a hairspray. But because the hair was super clean, anytime you crimp hair on clean hair, it usually is a little bit more fluffy, which is really cute. And then I also decided to do my go-to style with frontals, which is just the um, two twisties. And this is pretty much what it looks like. With the hairline, I did not tweeze at all. I just cut down the baby hair a little bit and just... Um, formed it. I did use a new edge control for the um, what do you call this? The baby hair. And it's by the brand Design. I'll have it linked down below. As far as the texture of the hair um, or what I used in the hair, I pretty much didn't use anything. I did wash or yeah, wash and um, condition the frontal after I bleached the knots. But the remainder of the hair, I did not um, wash or co-wash at all so once I made the unit by the way I did use my hot glue gun method um, I just went to work and crimped the entire unit pretty much with no product I did use a little bit of oil sheen but not too much and this is pretty much what I got the frontal definitely looks Super natural. I did not have to tint the lace for it to match my skin tone, but if you uh, find that your lace does not match your skin tone, um, maybe it's a little bit lighter, then I would just go ahead and tint the lace. I do have a tutorial on how I do that. I also have a tutorial on how I make my wigs using the hot glue gun method, and I have both of those linked down below for those who have not already seen those videos. So this is my last bundle left. And it's 20 inches. Um, for some reason, I thought at first that I used all the bundles, but um, obviously I didn't. But the hair is pretty full. Like when I made the wig, I made sure that the tracks were pretty close because I wanted it to be cool. Uh, not cool. I wanted it to be full. And I still got a really nice full unit. But this is what the hair looks like. And then maybe you can see the ombre effect a little bit better which as you can see it is body wave texture 
um, and then you can see up top is that 1B and then around here is where the 4 starts and it's just a rich chocolate brown and then it um, and then it fades into that nice 27 blonde I feel like in the bundle the blonde is a little bit more warm even though it's like a really nice blonde but on me it just looks more of an ash blonde I really do like it either way but this is what it looks like there was no complaints with the um, texture of the hair I was curious to see how um, the hair would act considering the top of the hair would be the most virgin of the bundle and then because they had to bleach the ends so much a lot of the times um, bleached hair just is a little bit more coarse or dry than hair that has not been bleached or dyed but really I didn't have any issues like I don't feel like the ends are super dry or anything like that I think when it came to crimping crimping the hair it was a little bit fluffy but definitely not dry or um, coarse or hard to work with by any means no tangling or any issues like that also, I have a tutorial on how I crimp hair. I'll also have that tutorial linked down below. Um, and in that tutorial, I mentioned my Old Faithful um, hair crimper. I went back to this one just because this one I am um, more familiar with and it. it's easier for me to go through and work with. And I kind of feel like it gets a little bit hotter than the other one that I have. I think that one just needs to be broken in a little bit, but it is the same brand. Um, actually, no. I thought it was Hot Tools, but it's from Hot and Gold, which I don't think they're the same company, but they are pretty much similar in that they all usually have the gold barrel um, with the black base, I guess you would say. But I can't find this one anywhere um, online to link for you guys, I think because it's so old, it's probably almost 10 years old. But I will look online and see if I can find a link for it. Um, if not, I will link the other one that I have because I do recommend that one too. This one is just so old. I think it's just so broken in, you know, like from OG hair curlers that it just works a little bit better. Or maybe I'm just biased. But this is what I use. All I use to achieve this look. Let me show you guys what the hair looks like from the back. Yeah, my diamond talking back, talking back, yeah, 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 my diamond talking back, they talking back, yeah, yeah, diamond talking back, they talking back, boom, pow, pow, diamond talking back, they talking back, blah, blah. Coachella is this weekend, and I feel like this kind of hair definitely gives Coachella vibes with a nice, cute little bathing suit or just some cute, bright colors. But yeah, all in all, I don't have any complaints about this hair. I definitely do like the um, AliExpress ombre hair, I guess you can say. I was a little bit skeptical, which is why it took me so long to try it out for myself. But I definitely would purchase or receive this hair again because I do like the way it looks. I would definitely love to see it curled um, as well. But like I said, I was kind of going for the festival vibes with the crimps. But I do have all the hair details as well as a link to the hair listed down below. I hope that you guys enjoyed this review and you check out Anemone Hair on AliExpress. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.